How you doing guys? Uh, we're back for another whiskey review. It's very late in the morning for me. I got off work this morning, but fuck it. Uh, I got to get this review uh, out of the queue. So here it is. is another whiskey review. The Black Gross. Now this is a variation of a very famous whiskey called the Famous Gross. Uh, famous Gross was established in 1896 uh, by the fuck's that guy's name? Matthew Glogue. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Matthew Glogue and Son Limited. Um, basically, this brand has been in the... It says on the bottle, established 1800. I assume that's the distillery itself. The brand was established in 1896. Matthew Glogue and Son. Um, Brand stayed in the family for quite a while until the guys who own like McAllen and a couple other distilleries bought them out in 1970 and basically went on to make them the most uh, the best selling brand in Scotland and I think that still um, I think that still continues till today uh, but anyway it used to be called the the gross blend brand and then became the famous gross because it was so popular um but they've made a variation and that is the black gross i think the famous gross is like 43 or 46 percent this is 40 percent alcohol by volume so 80 proof and this is um basically introducing malts from isla into their uh, blend and uh a contemporary of this, I guess, would probably be like a uh, Johnny Walker Black, or, or a competitor, I'd say. Um, it's sort of the same idea, trying to give you like a smooth blended whiskey with Isla flavors. I've already had quite a bit of it, as you can probably see. So, I know we're going to say when I'm getting into this already. Uh, so, I've got it poured here. I will say right off the bat that you should probably add water to this. I have not not because it's harsh or anything that needs to be toned down but I find water actually opens up the flavors quite a bit so but we'll just go into this uh, sort of cold it looks dark on camera but it's a very nice golden amber sort of color nice little bit of legs on the glass so we're going to the aroma very grainy whiskey uh, malt smell right up front barley sugar caramel moves right over and there's this really nice note of uh, peat and a lingering smokiness uh, it's not very big don't get me wrong it's not very big and I mentioned Johnny Walker black it's not as big as Johnny Walker blacks uh, peatiness although the lingering smokiness is a bit seems a bit bigger to me from what I can recall but yeah, you got that, you got the wood, you got a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of fruitiness in there. But it's very well, nice balanced, uh, very smooth. Alcohol does not come up and sting the nose at all. So we're going to go right to the taste. Cheers. It's very nice. Um, right off the bat. I will say this is pretty much one of the smoothest blends I've ever had. Um, it's even smoother and lighter than Johnny Walker Black, which is saying something. Right up front, the nose basically translates right to the taste. Um, right up front, you get the barley, uh, sugars, um, you get caramel, very grainy malt. Uh, right up front moves right over to the smoke and the peat uh, not big smoke and peat notes again very very small uh, probably smaller than I would even hoped like seems even a bit lighter than what I thought it would be but um, they are there lingering smokiness on the back of the mouth um, no real big alcohol sting like it's, it's very smooth like incredibly smooth like this is a this is a whiskey I could drink like beer let's put it that way uh, that might differ for some people but 
for me personally, it's very lightweight. Um, I'm very much used to Isla scotches. Now, if you're a big fan of Isla scotches and you go into this, you're probably going to be slightly disappointed because, and I don't even know why you would go into this if you're a big fan of Isla scotches. Quite frankly, if if you're already there, if Ardbeg and Lafroy and um, Legavulin and stuff like that, Talisker, uh, you probably you want nothing to do with this, really. Unless you want something really easy and simple that you don't have to think about. Because it doesn't really have the complexity or anything of a scotch like that. Um, but as a blend and as like an introductory blend to those sort of flavors, this is actually fantastic. It's right up there of Johnny Walker Black. It's smoother than Johnny Walker Black. So if you want to even play it safe more for your first little... Um, dip dip your toes into uh, uh isla malts um this would be good for you this would be very good for you just give you a little bit of taste of what to expect because there's it doesn't have any of those um big uh isla whiskeys going for it uh, it, it tastes like maybe um maybe talisker or bowmore or something like that is in there um it doesn't taste like uh, Artbag or Lafroig or uh, any of those bigger ones because it doesn't have any sort of medicinal components. Like it's it's got the standard malts that apparently Famous Gross always ha already has, like Macallan and uh, I can't think of the other one, but um, very obvious, like very light peat kind of malts uh, blended into this. So they're they're not big, they're not confrontational, they're not making you consider anything. Um, they don't have those big medicinal notes. They just have the straight, right ahead, peat, smoke kind of thing. Um, but the, the, the lingering aftertaste of this is very nice. I really enjoy it. Um, this is a whiskey I'd buy again. It only costs $34, I think it was, at the NSLC. So that's even way cheaper everywhere else, basically, outside of Canada. You'd probably get it for like 20 something dollars. And that is a fucking steal. It's really good. I think that's even cheaper than uh, Johnny Walker Black, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. So, uh, the Black Gross. It's an exceptional blended scotch deal for people looking to get into more peaty, smoky whiskeys. At the same time, still has that sweet balance from, like, Speyside malts or whatever, that and Highland malts or whatever is put into this. I can't remember which, which region they're from, but... Um, so yeah, it's not great. It's not complex. Uh, I think I actually like Johnny Walker Black better than this because it's a bit more complex. But that being said, this is a very nice, smooth, introductory kind of whiskey into those sort of things. And I'm going to give it a solid B. So, cheers guys. The Black Rose is a B. And we will be back very, very soon. Take care.